In this lesson, we'll see how we can use the MIB light map sample node. So the light map sample is a node that can be fed into the light map write. So what we can do is use our light, light map write node, which if you want to learn more about this particular node, we do have a lesson that deals specifically with this one. But what we can do is use this light map sample as a way of sampling and writing out to a self-contained file just the luminance data or the strength of the illumination and even the color of the illumination on our surface. So what we can do is take our MIB light map write and what we'll do is take our light map sample and connect this into the input. So if you've had a chance to go through our lesson on using the light map write, we've seen how we can use this as a way of writing out any sort of uh, color information to a self-contained image. So what we'll do now is instead of writing out color information from a specific shader, we'll now be writing input data as far as the light values and the light intensities. So just to actually change this up a little bit, let's go back to our light map write node. And in our lesson dealing with this node, we went in and actually set up a texture for this. So just so we can keep from overwriting that information, let's go back to our image name and let's define a new light map so that we don't override this light map that we generated in our lesson dealing with that node. So let's go back to a new text document, switch our filtering to best guess, and we'll make ourselves a new dummy file. We'll call this uh, light map sample. And we can give this a .iff or a .map extension. All right. So we can now come in and force this light map or to uh, actually write the sample information out by just simply rendering out a single image. So let's go back to one of our views, render this out. And once the image is completed rendering, we can take a look inside our source images directory or wherever we chose to output this image. And if we want to see the data that's been written into it, we can take a look at that right here. So again, this is now looking at just the illumination data so we have uh, really pretty much white luminance information that's coming from this. Again, this is just looking really at the color of the lighting that's coming from this. And we also have the ability to write in indirect lighting information from things like Final Gather or Global Illumination. So really there are just a few options to be found on this light map sampling node. So we have the ability to either enable or disable the calculation of indirect lighting for this particular uh, light map that will be written out and then we can actually flip the normal information so whether or not the normals are going to be flipped inward or outward we can flip those accordingly and in addition we can actually plug in some kind of a specified light source that we actually want to be sampled and fed into the light map write node and so now with the indirect contribution disabled and this has now been re-rendered so we can go back and take a look at our new light map sample image so we can double click and look at this and now we have just the direct illumination without any sort of contribution coming from any kind of final gather that we may have had in this scene so with this we can see exactly where the light is striking the surface so you can see exactly where that is in these areas where no illumination reaches that point or that uh, particular pixel we really just get black all right, so that's a look at how we can use this light map sampling node as a way of just writing luminance data out into a single self-contained file.